Jessica is a scientist. She's making up a solution of acid. She has two bottles, different concentrations. That means... Okay. Work out how many milliliters acids are in 200 milliliters of liquid of bottle A. Okay, well, it's 24. It's twice as much. 100 ml of A, there's 12 ml of acid. So in 200 ml of bottle A, there would be 24 ml. Am I missing something here? I don't think so. She mixes 200 ml of A with 300 ml of B. What's the total concentration? Okay, so the acid would be 24 ml in A, and then B would be 5 per 100. So that's 15 ml. That's 39. So as a percentage, that'd be 39 over the total, which is 500. Seven point eight percent. Yeah, she can't because the answer will always be between the two values. It is always between five percent and twelve percent. So it's not possible to make it less. The the, the least she can have is five percent. Uh, the only way she could get less than 5% is she mixes in a liquid that has no acid to it, like water or something. It has to be at least 5 and can be at most 12, so she can't possibly make 4. When she's making another mixture, Jessica makes a mistake in measuring. She wants to measure 250, but she measures 260. What percentage error did she make? That is 10 over 250 times 100, which is 4% error. If a solid is made up of a, oh, this is Euclid's formula, isn't it? Um, corners, edges, and faces. Write down the value of C, E, and F for a cube. Okay, so C is the number of corners. One, two, three, four, eight. Edges, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. And faces, six. And let's check it out. Eight minus twelve plus six. 14 minus 12 equals 2. Each of the faces of a different solid in the same shape. Each of the faces of a different solid in the same shape of a triangle of area 5. The solid has 12 corners, 30 edges. Uh, okay, hang on. Each face is 5. I just need to work out how many faces there are and multiply by 5. So C is 12, edges is 30, plus F equals 2. So that means there's 20 faces. So um, that'll be 100 centimeters squared. It's not important that's a triangle. The surface of a third solid is made up of H hexagons and P pentagons. Use this equation to find the number of pentagons on the surface of the solid. Oh my. Deep breaths. The surface of a third solid is made up of H hexagons and P pentagons. Use this equation to find the number of pentagons on the surface of the solid. Yeah, but how many hexagons are there? Now this is now this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Getting a bit dark now. Half ten. Um <laughs>
I know it uses the previous formula, I'm just not sure how. Corners minus edges plus faces equal to. Oh, I see now. This is corresponding to the C, this to the E, this to the F, and that's the 2. So, so how does that help? How does that help? Yeah, okay, so this 6h plus 5p has to be a multiple of 6. Because you can't have a decimal number of corners or edges. So because this can be divided by 3 and by 2, that's the multiple of 6. So the first possible solution, if I just said 6h plus 5p equals 6, will I get integer solutions? Or could I? Yeah. Six H equals six minus five P. So H is six minus five P over six. Although if you want to be pedantic about it, it's not really six, it's a multiple of six, so that's six N. So that's six N. So what about if I just said N is one? No, that won't work. I'd have to say something like n is 5, because then this could equal 5 times 6 minus 5 over 6. That's not going to work. Oh, this is a hard one. There's a theorem. Euclid. Euclidean equation, but that's that's not what this can be. I don't know why. I'm not thinking about this in a way that makes it simple. Multiple of six. Okay, and not only that, but when you add it to this, you get two as well. Wow, I don't think there was a honors question that stumped me as much as this one. This is weird. This is definitely the hardest question for me between both the ordinary and higher level paper. I'm happy with 6h plus 5p. It definitely has to be a multiple of 6.
So it makes me feel like P has to be a multiple of 6. So I think maybe P has to be something like 6, 12, 18, etc. So like if I was to try P is 6, let me see what I get. 6 times 6 plus, no, no. Then what would H be? And maybe H could be a multiple of 5? Okay, I'm going to try 6 times 5 plus 5 times 6 divided by 3. Um, minus 6 times uh, 6 times 5 plus 5 times 6 divided by 2. Ah, uh, okay, that's minus 10. Plus 6 plus 5 is 1. Close. Close. I'm pausing this video to think more. So, yeah, I took the coward's way out. <laughs> I just started trying different values. Unfortunately, I didn't have to go far. It was the next value, 12 and 10, that works. So, uh, it's if you calculate it out here, 6 times 10 plus 5 times 12 divided by 3, that's 40. And then 6 times 10 plus 5 times 12 divided by 2, that's 60. And then that's 22. So 40 minus 60 plus 22 is 2. So I think the P is 12. And this is 22 faces in total, this Euclidean solid, or not Euclidean solid, this uh, solid. I, if somebody has a better way of doing this, please let me know. But I think if I was a student in an exam and I had a question like this, I probably would just panic and just brute force the solution. But I know this is stupid. Apologies for that delay, that was a real stumper.